Got a little bit wet, but that's just part of the job. This is the current companionway door. I really like the door for when I'm away because it's got a solid steel plate in the middle of it. Uh, so that helps secure the boat. But when I'm on the boat going up and down and sealing and resealing the, the companionway over and over, uh, it gets a bit heavy and a bit cumbersome to, to deal with all the time. I'd say the door's about 30 pounds. Uh, so I'm looking to replace it for when I'm on the boat, something lighter for sure. And something that opens with hinges. I've also got these door slats which are lighter but I don't use them very often because I don't like them. You got to put them in and take them out one by one. The thickness of the door to fit in the grooves is 7 eighths of an inch but I went to Home Depot and bought this 3 quarter inch 2 by 4 foot PVC board and I'm going to make the companionway door out of this. It's not going to be perfect I know but at least it'll be lighter and functional. I measured and traced everything out and double checked my measurements and then just to be safe I laid the old companionway door on top and lined up everything just to make sure everything fit. I've got my jigsaw ready and I've compensated for one half of the width of the jigsaw just to make sure the blade lines up with the straight edge here. So I'm going to fire up the generator and start cutting. made all my cuts and I put the door in the companionway there and it fits. It's a little tight on all sides but uh, nothing a little sanding can't help. You've also got to make sure to clean up after your projects. I don't want this PVC uh, dust going into the water. Thankfully I have my dust buster. <laughs> Things are a little bit messy with all the pencil lines, but I've drawn out where I'm going to make my cuts and I've got the hinges and the handles on the door where I want them to go. So I'm actually going to screw in the hinges first before I make the cuts just to make sure everything lines up. Then I'll pull them off, make my cuts, uh, screw them back on, then add the handles. This handle is at the bottom of the door and it'll be on the outside and that's so that I can grab the handle and lift and pull the door up and out of the, the slots on the boat. I'm going to place another one on the opposite side so that I can do the same thing from inside. I've screwed in all my hardware just to make sure that everything fits and the holes will line up and I think it looks pretty good. All I need to do now is make my cuts. I just wanted to show you this is where I place the handle on the inside of the door so that I can open, I can pull up the hatch from inside the boat. Uh, the screws above it of course are for the handle on the outside. I just offset them by a fraction of an inch so that they didn't run into each other. On the outside of the door, the two holes and the two bolts that go through the door for this inside handle sit just below the handle on the outside, so they shouldn't show too badly.
corner at the bottom here by using a small drill bit to clear out a small slot where I could fit the jigsaw blade. I made my cuts and you can see the three separate pieces there. All I have left to do is screw back in the hinges and handles and do a little sanding. I put everything back together. I'll do the sanding at a later time, mostly because that's just cosmetic. I'll use some fine grit sandpaper uh, to bring the white back out, but I did want to show the handle on the other side as well. So I'll get it back on the boat and test it out, probably do some sanding around the edges, make sure it fits just fine, maybe reinforce some different points, but I think it's going to work for me. Alright, I've got the door sanded up and put back in. I've got to do a little extra sanding around the edges just to make sure it all fits. Right now it's a little tight, that's why the uh, door on the right hand side is, is open a little bit. Um, but here you go. Swing is right open. Looks pretty good. The total project was only about $75 with all the hinges, handles, and the PVC board, and I've got a little extra PVC board left over uh, for some other projects. So pretty happy with this. I'm going to call it just about complete. Like I said, just do a little extra sanding and some fitting, uh, but I'll be moving on to some other projects now.